Hello, Boo. Will you break our oath? Is this how you repay me? <laughs> our oath? Ah, don't make me laugh. This is where you must die. <laughs> Damn minx! You planned this, didn't you? This is too good a resting place for that swine. From now on, I walk the path I choose to walk. Men, red hair among horses. That's him. Let's get out of here. There's no way we will survive. <laughs> ah, so this is where you went. This should be enough. I used up everything my grandfather left me to outfit this group. This is my entire force. Assembled here. Let's go. You don't want to keep you on Shao waiting. One moment, <laughs> My lord, I have come all this way to fight for you. But you, aren't you from the Hu district? Are you saying you rode all this way for me? That's correct. Uh, I heard that you were declaring yourself, Uncle, and I couldn't stay away. And besides, I had to join you, because we are under the same sky. I see. I hadn't expected you. But I am glad that you came. All right, Shio. The 1,000 League Pawn of the Cow family. You will be in the forefront of my battles.
Master Cao Cao, hmm? why are you being so kind to me now? We once faced each other on the field of battle. The only one I was fighting was Tao Jun. I have nothing against you. If I killed everyone who opposed me, there would be none left in the land. That would be a waste, especially for those with talent. However... If you, like me, have all the makings of a true hero, then perhaps you are one as well. Forgive me. But... a hero? As you can see, I'm just a man who's frightened by lightning. <laughs> Liu Bei, I do hope that we can both achieve what we are aiming for. Yes. Somehow we have been able to hold out here. But if Lu Bu takes the field, we are going to need another strategy. Hmm. Right. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> <laughs> Master Shao Du! <laughs> Don't get excited. It's just an eye. At best, it only saw the enemies right in front of it. But you, you strategists, you see the entire battlefield. You will be my eye, and I will fight. I understand. And now... How to repel Lu Bu and his forces. the commander gets away, I win. My lord, Shu Chu, I leave the rest to you. Hmm. I can't believe I lost to someone weaker than me. It's something called strategy, Lu Bu. Someone like you, who depends on physical strength, will never beat me. Then tell me, what would happen if you add my strength to this thing you call strategy? Huh. So you wish to pledge service to me? Master Cao Cao, Lu Bu is a beast. Don't let desire for strength deceive you. Uh, damn you, Liu Bei! Uh, uh. Farewell, Lu. Let your pride in being the best die with you here in Xiaopi. Uh. Water? From where? It's from the river! Water is coming from the sea! They too! They must have destroyed the dams! 
A water attack! What should we do? Should we leave the castle? Fool! If we leave here, they'll kill us! Get to higher ground! Hurry! <laughs> Oh no! It's no good! The gate won't hold! Master Shen Yu, your work at Guandu was spectacular. Your exploitation of you and Chao's weakness in that battle was exceptional. No. My humble contribution was nothing compared to your own Master Guojia. At Guandu, it just so happened that I was the one the enemy leaked that information to. After that, I just used the information to give our Lord the very best plan I could think of. You don't allow yourself enough credit, but I guess I should have expected that of you. I, standing in front of people and detailing a battle is just not me. I have no problems with just acting, though. I just can't be like you or Master Yu. Or be like Master Joshu. Hey. hey! Oh, yeah. I hear someone saying my name, and it turns out to be you, Master Shun U. It looks like you talk a lot when you drink. Master Joshu? <laughs> Sorry for butting in. I guess I can go do my thing somewhere else. Uh, hmm. A small interruption. A great plan. Your ability to startle people is truly exceptional. Uh, I can't hold a torch to Master Joshu. That does put me in a difficult position. I had planned to have you take over for me one day. Master Gojia? No, it's nothing. You have your own strengths, especially when it comes to... Anyway... I really like that you accompany me when I'm drinking. I couldn't ask for a better friend than you. Yes. I will stay with you as long as you need me. This is the place. You know what? <laughs> I am really sick of running. And as for you, you have been chasing us long enough. There's only one of them. Go! has come for mighty Jung Fei to crush you! Fire! The ship is burning! The fire is spreading! No, it can't be. You cannot carry out a plan like this based on the sudden change of the wind. Was everything they did up to now simply a preparation for this flame attack? Can't be. Then... You think the enemy knew about this wind, and that's why they used a fire attack? Zhou Yu. No. Jugo Young. This fire will leave a better taste. Come on now! Aren't 
Aren't you a bit pushy for a man your age? Let's see. Ah, if we can't just hurry your trip to the other side. soon. Report! General Pan De has been taken by Guan Yu's forces. <clears throat> How dare they do that to the general? General, now is the time for us to attack. We must save General Pan De, and then link up with him to defeat Guan Yu. Guan Yu! <laughs> I would like... To offer my surrender. What, oh, what are. If possible, I would ask you to guarantee the lives of all my men as well. I understand. I promise, in the name of my oath brother, the great Lu Bei. Why, General, have you lost your mind? <laughs> in the military, the orders of your superiors are not to be questioned. I will accept no protest. Uh, what kind of person are you? Uh, Gather the units and line them up. Even when surrendering, discipline will be enforced. Consider it to be a great honor to have been brought down by you. I've done my duty in the name of humanity. Whether I die here or not, I have no regrets. Ha! If you have all this time for talking, there's time to fight. I will face you and cut you down. It is the only way to cut the fate that binds us. If that is what you wish. For honor! Farewell, Shao Dun. It has been a 
a long time coming, hasn't it? Guan Yu. I see. So Guan Yu is gone. Are you disappointed? No. He was an extraordinary hero. But he was through and through my enemy. So he was... No more than any of the other men I had to surpass. That is how the world of chaos works. Yes. But this means that things are going to start happening now. Guan Yu is gone, and soon, Liu Bei and I will be gone. Then the world will be left in the hands of my son and you. So then what will the world look like at that time? I both look forward to it and I am sorry that I won't be here to see it. So, you were saying that you would like to see it all happen? Of course. But it's... It's not a dream one can achieve. Still, it is something that a person would give their life for. Incidentally, what do you think of P? Is he worthy to follow me? I do believe that he has the wisdom, but I also believe that his goal is very different from your own. Hmm. That's fine. Succeeding on the path of the Conqueror means walking the path that you believe in. Let us raise a cup. To the end of an age, and to the beginning of the next one. <sighs> I can't believe General Eugene would just surrender like that. What on earth is going to happen to us? If this keeps up, We'll die of starvation, or even illness. <sighs> it might be easier if we just drowned ourselves. They are all falling apart out there. There is no sense losing troops for no reason. I could end this by surrendering myself. Now just wait a moment. Master Cao Ren, I think that might be a little premature. Munchong, tell me, do you have a plan? Yes. I believe there's one thing we can do. What is that? That is to not give up. You must believe that our reinforcements will come, and that we'll continue to fight. What do you think? Perhaps it's not original, but I do believe it's achievable. I cannot believe that I almost lost sight of that. Now, let us find a way out of this. Hmm. Listen! We must keep our spirits high! If we stay focused and work together, we will overcome even this! Your Highness, allow me to offer my congratulations. <laughs> there is no need to suddenly be so formal. Huh. Sima Yi, tell me something. 
Why was father... Why was Cao Cao only king of Wei? If he had only desired it, he could have taken the throne. Lord Cao Cao's main purpose was to restore order to the land. I believe he believed that by restoring and protecting the Han court, he was simply acting upon the best strategy to do exactly that. Hmm. Even though it had been on the verge of corruption? He sought the peace he knew, rather than an unknown possibility. And that was simply a display of human nature. Hmm. An excellent answer, Sima Yi. Thanks to you, I am once again convinced of the path I have chosen. I will not look to anyone else anymore. I will not bend to anyone. I will change this land with my own hands. The grand rule of Zhao Wei starts now! Are you going to break off your alliance with Wu? Of course. Now that we have achieved our common purpose in defeating Huan Yu, I'm sure that Wu has already started planning their attack on us. We know that Wu has once again formed an alliance with Shu. It is likely that we are going to find ourselves under attack from both of them very soon. But this alliance was made only so that they may face us, their common enemy. In other words, their alliance is nothing more than a temporary expediency. Then given that reasoning, you're saying that we should attack them before they even have a chance to betray us. That's not true, Sima Yi. Judgment is merely something that casts light on reason. It's when you involve worthless feelings that people start thinking whether to betray or not. I am very impressed. There is no reason for us to ally ourselves with anyone at all. We will thoroughly destroy Wu and Shu, and we will end the chaos! finally started marching towards us <coughs> yes it came much sooner than I thought it hasn't been that long since the death of Leo Bay this movement could only be possible with meticulous and precise planning <coughs> excuse me welcome master Sima E after the loss of Jin Shu was able to revive their alliance with Wu, and has managed to subdue the south it was all preparation for their advance north, and it was directed by one man named Zhuge Liang. Are you sure? <coughs> so then, this army is also from Zhuge Liang. <coughs> Master Sima Yi, why do you appear so happy? I have a chance to face off against a most extraordinary opponent. How can I, who's long polished my skills, not be excited about that prospect? Come, Zhuge Liang. You will eventually discover that you have met your match in Sima Yi of Wei. <laughs> <laughs>